Well, all right, everybody. Hail and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings and episode three of the Words of Wisdom series um, here on the channel, wherein I discuss various random stanzas from the Hovamol. Uh, hail and welcome. My name is Jesse, and if you haven't yet tuned into my channel, I am the host here. I talk about various things related to Norse heathenry and Germanic paganism and just kind of how I see the world uh, as a heathen. So if that sort of thing interests you, definitely please subscribe to the channel right down there. And then if you don't want to miss anything, click the bell notifications and you'll be notified whenever I do upload new content. All right, now today's uh, random stanza selection is going to be stanza 27 from the Hovamol. And for those who may just be tuning in or seeing this for the first time, I am reading the stanzas as translated by Dr. Jackson Crawford from his uh, Wanderer's Hovamol. He's already done a translation of the Poetic Edda and has a course the ver uh, his version or his translation of the Hovamol contained in Poetic Edda. Um, however, this one uh, is a bit, uh, you know, kind of revamped a little bit. He's he's taken uh, some extra steps to understand the, you know, linguistics uh, side of things. Of course, Dr. Jackson Crawford being probably, at least nowadays, one of the uh, leading authorities for academic uh, aspects or academic views of Norse language and myth. So... <clears throat> Some people may not like his translation of things or think that he is um, trying to cash in on you know, the popularity of it. I don't see it that way um, because in plenty of his videos, if you've watched them long enough, you know that he is not heathen. He doesn't do this except for the academic purposes of it. So be that as it may, I'm going to be reading from that version of the Hovamal. If you are uh, following along and you want to read uh, a different version, by all means do so. You've got the Benjamin Thorpe translation. you got the... Bellows translation, you've got the Hollander translation, you've got so many different translations out there, Oliver Bray. Just read what works for you. But today's random stanza um, is going to be stanza 27. So again, from Dr. Jackson's, uh, Dr. Jackson Crawford's Wanderers Hovamol, here we go. So stanza, tw stanza 27. It's best for a fool to keep his mouth shut among other people. No one will know he knows nothing if he says nothing. An ignorant man doesn't know how little he knows, no matter how much he talks. So as with all the um, stanzas that I read from randomly here uh, in this kind of mini-series on the channel, um, that's the version of it, that's the translation of it, and then I like to talk a little bit or, or uh, expound a little bit upon it. And, um, you know, this stanza to me is one of those admonitions or warnings um, that... Um, you, you could take it a different way, but one of the things that this, stanza, uh, that this stanza specifically tells to me is that just because you are running the mouth, just because you speak a lot, just because you say a lot, doesn't mean that you know a lot. And it's quite often best if you just shut up and let the grown-ups talk, <laughs> as it were. Sometimes you hear that phrase, you know, hey, sit down, grown-ups are talking, you know. Um, because you can have somebody that comes in and, and, and just spouts all kinds of nonsense thinking that they know something about whatever it is. Um, I've been guilty of this before. I think a lot of us have. And um, you quite often will just get put in your place and realize that you, first of all, have no business speaking on those things. So nowadays, in modern times, I think this is an important stanza to be reminded of because one of the things that we see happening across you know, social media platforms all over the place is everyone that is an expert on something, right? If it's not the pandemic around the world, um, if it's not that, then it's about the whole, you know, protesters and rioters. And if it's not that, it's about, you know, some other crazy thing that's happened uh, in their local town or community or, or city or country or the world or something. Everyone seems to want to be an expert about it. And, you know, it's best to keep your mouth shut among other people sometimes with, with social media you know everybody feels like they have something to say. I'm you know here on YouTube saying my piece about something, but uh, this video is not going to be very long. Um, it's already probably going longer than what I want. But my thing about it is that especially now in modern times, guys, it's sometimes best to just sit back and listen. You don't always have to say something about everything. Just let it go. Just let it slide, you know? So anyways... That's my take on the stanza. I'm curious to hear what your take is on it. So go down into the comment section below and share what your thoughts of this stanza are and um, what you could be looking forward to 
uh, coming out here on this channel. Of course, this is going to be a hopefully a three day a week sort of thing. Today being the third episode this week, um, so we'll be hitting all different kinds of stuff when we do these. So. Um, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe so that way more of these videos and types of videos like these get circulated around uh, to everybody. So thank you all again so much for watching today's video. Hail, and I will see you in the next one.